While preparing a patient for a 12-lead ECG, the technician notices the patient's chest is extremely hairy. What should be done? A. Place electrodes directly without adjustment. B. Shave or clip small areas where electrodes will be placed. C. Apply extra gel on top of the hair. D. Use only limb leads to avoid poor contact. Answer, B. Dense chest hair interferes with electrode adhesion and signal quality. Shaving or clipping small patches ensures proper contact without removing excessive hair. A wandering baseline appears during an ECG. Which of the following is the most likely cause? A. Loose lead or poor skin preparation. B. Myocardial infarction. C. Pacemaker spikes. D. Correct electrode placement. Answer, A. Wandering baselines result from poor electrode contact, excessive patient movement, or inadequate skin prep. Proper cleaning and firm electrode application are essential. A patient is experiencing chest pain during an exercise stress test. What should the technician do first? A. Stop the treadmill immediately and notify the provider. B. Ignore the symptom until the test finishes. C. Reduce treadmill speed slightly. D. Give patient water and continue. Answer, A. Chest pain during a stress test can indicate ischemia. The test must be terminated immediately, with rapid provider notification to prevent adverse events. In Holter monitoring, what instruction is most important for the patient? A. Remove electrodes before showering. B. Press the event button during symptoms. C. Record all meals in a diary. D. Only wear during daytime. Answer, B. Patients should press the event marker when symptoms occur. This helps correlate ECG abnormalities with clinical complaints for accurate diagnosis. Which of the following rhythms requires immediate intervention? A. Normal sinus rhythm. B. Atrial flutter. C. Ventricular fibrillation. D. First degree AV block. Answer, C. Ventricular fibrillation is life-threatening, causing cardiac arrest without intervention. Immediate defibrillation and CPR are essential. What is the primary purpose of calibration on an ECG machine? A. To adjust paper speed. B. To verify standard gain and ensure accurate tracing. C. To test electrodes. D. To change frequency response. Answer, B. Calibration ensures the machine records signals at standard amplitude, 10 mm per MV, confirming accurate interpretation across all ECGs. A 6-second strip shows 8 QRS complexes. What is the approximate heart rate? A. 60 BPM. B. 80 BPM. C. 100 BPM. D. 120 BPM. Answer, C. Heart rate on a 6-second strip is calculated by multiplying QRS complexes by 10. 8 complexes equal 80 BPM. During lead placement for a female patient, she expresses discomfort. What should the technician do? A. Proceed quickly to finish. B. Ask permission, maintain modesty, and explain each step. C. Refuse to perform test. D. Skip chest leads. Answer. B. Patient dignity and consent are essential. Proper communication ensures comfort while still obtaining an accurate ECG. Which electrolyte imbalance is most associated with peaked T waves on an ECG? A. Hypocalcemia. B. Hyperkalemia. C. Hyponatremia. D. Hypomagnesemia. Answer. B. Elevated potassium levels produce tall, peaked T waves, which may progress to lethal arrhythmias if untreated. Which artifact is caused by nearby electrical equipment? A. Somatic tremor. B. Wandering baseline. C. AC interference. D. Interrupted baseline. Answer, C. Alternating current interference appears as uniform, small spikes across the ECG tracing due to electrical sources. When preparing a patient for telemetry monitoring, why should the skin be lightly abraded? A. To cause redness. 
b. To reduce electrical resistance. c. To remove electrode gel. d. To test patient sensitivity. Answer, b. Gentle abrasion removes dead skin cells and oils, lowering resistance and improving signal transmission. A Holter monitor report shows asystole for 12 seconds. What does this indicate? A. Normal finding. B. Equipment malfunction. C. Life-threatening pause in cardiac activity. D. Sinus arrhythmia. Answer, C. Asystole exceeding a few seconds is critical, reflecting absence of cardiac activity. Immediate medical evaluation is required. Which of the following is the normal QRS duration? A. 0.04 to 0.12 seconds. B. 0.12 to 0.20 seconds. C. 0.20 to 0.30 seconds. D. 0.30 to 0.40 seconds. Answer, A. A normal QRS complex duration is between 0.04 to 0.12 seconds, reflecting efficient ventricular depolarization. Which lead provides the best view for detecting atrial activity? A. Lead I. B. Lead 2. C. EVR. D. V6. Answer, B. Lead 2 closely aligns with atrial conduction, making it ideal for visualizing P waves and atrial arrhythmias. A patient undergoing a stress test collapses with no pulse. What is the next immediate step? A. Activate emergency response and start CPR. B. Call family. C. Continue test to record arrhythmia. D. Check blood pressure. Answer, A. Sudden cardiac arrest requires immediate CPR and activation of emergency services for defibrillation. Interrupted baseline artifact on ECG usually results from A. Patient movement. B. Broken or loose lead wire. C. Excessive chest hair. D. Pacemaker spikes. Answer, B. A broken or detached wire produces gaps in the ECG recording, known as an interrupted baseline. The ST segment elevation on ECG most commonly indicates A. Myocardial infarction. B. COPD. C. Hypothermia. D. Electrolyte imbalance. Answer, A. Elevated ST segments are a hallmark of acute myocardial infarction requiring rapid medical attention. Which paper speed is standard for ECG recording in the U.S.? A. 10 mm per second. B. 15 mm per second. C. 25 mm per second. D. 50 mm per second. Answer, C. The standard speed is 25 mm per second, allowing accurate calculation of intervals and rhythm analysis. Which condition is most associated with a widened QRS complex? A. Hyperventilation. B. Bundle branch block. C. Sinus arrhythmia. D. Normal sinus rhythm. Answer, B. A bundle branch block causes delayed conduction through ventricles, producing widened QRS complexes. During electrode placement, why should bony areas be avoided? A. They transmit signals better. B. Poor contact and artifacts occur. C. It improves patient comfort only. D. To prevent electrode drying. Answer, B. Bony prominences limit electrode adhesion and increase artifacts, so electrodes should be placed over soft tissue. What is the main advantage of using telemetry monitoring? A. Requires no electrodes. B. Allows continuous monitoring of patients during activity. C. Provides only one lead. D. Is more accurate than a 12 lead. Answer, B. Telemetry provides continuous ECG monitoring during daily activity, helping detect intermittent arrhythmias. Which cardiac rhythm is characterized by sawtooth waves on ECG? A. Atrial flutter. B. Ventricular tachycardia. C. Atrial fibrillation. D. Normal sinus rhythm. Answer, A. 
Atrial flutter produces sawtooth flutter waves, usually at a rate of 250-350 BPM. A patient with a pacemaker shows pacing spikes but no QRS complex follows. This indicates a. Normal function b. Failure to capture c. Failure to sense d. Failure to pace Answer, b. Failure to capture occurs when pacemaker stimuli do not cause ventricular depolarization. A patient's ECG shows irregularly irregular QRS complexes with no P waves. This indicates a. Normal sinus rhythm b. Atrial fibrillation c. Ventricular tachycardia d. Junctional rhythm Answer, b. Atrial fibrillation produces an irregularly irregular rhythm without clear P waves. Which lead is most commonly monitored in continuous cardiac monitoring? A. EVR. B. V1. C. V5. D. Lead 2. Answer, D. Lead 2 provides a good view of atrial activity and overall rhythm, making it the standard for monitoring.